Hey everybody, it's Cooper here, and I just recorded that last pickups video uh, that you guys saw last night, but today I rode my bike around to all the pawn shops and um, Goodwill, and that's about it. Um, I, went to, I went to one Goodwill, didn't get anything there, so everything else that you're going to see comes from the pawn shops. Um, most I went to three different Cash America pawn shops, which, are, which is the, the one that I always go to. Um, and then I went to a couple other ones, um, just random pawn shops that I saw on the way. So, <clears throat> I did get enough stuff, um, to make a pickup video, that's why I'm doing this now, because I want to get the stuff on the shelves, and because some of the stuff I got to resell, and I hope to do it quickly, so I thought I'd get this video out and show you what I got before it's gone. So, I'm going to start with the stuff that I got to sell. And like always, I'll tell you how much I paid for it and all that. So, um, first off, I'm just going to pull stuff off the pile because there's a pretty good stack of stuff. Let me adjust the camera here. Okay, so, first game we have is Mario Kart Double Dash. And this, it, w it came in a case for Mario Golf um, Toadstool Tour, and it had the manual for Mario Golf 2. I already took those out, obviously, and put them over there. Um, so basically, I just bought it for the disc, and it was marked at $9.99, but I got it for $7 even. So that's a, I mean, it's like a $20, $25 game, so that should be easy to sell. Next up, I picked up a copy of uh, Super Mario Sunshine Player's Choice. That one's complete. And this was, I think this was. $4.99 from uh, Cash America. Next up is another disc only GameCube game, and that's Namco Museum. I wasn't going to get this, but the lady kept lowering the price herself because I kind of told her I didn't want it, but she kept saying, Oh, come on, take it. And I got it, and she. She wanted a dollar for it originally. I kept saying no thanks, you know. She finally said 25 cents, and I was like, fine, whatever. 25 cents for a GameCube game, it's not a sports game. I didn't really want it. 25 cents isn't even that great of a deal, because it's probably not worth that much at all, but she kept begging me, so I just decided to get it. Um, next, I got a copy of Halo Combat Evolved. And this was um, $2, I believe. Yeah, I think it was 2 And then I got Halo 2. This was also $2. Next, I picked up a copy of Kingdom Hearts 1 for the PS2. Black Label. Um, this was marked at 10 but I got it for 5 And then we have a collector's edition of Halo 2. The case is kind of beat up. Uh, you can see it's not in the best shape, but it is complete. And this was marked at five, but I got it for two fifty. Next up, we have Taito Legends. This is the first one. Um, I didn't know this was actually worth anything, but I just saw Skoog Gaming pick one up, and uh, he said it was actually worth something. So this is marked at eight, but I got it for four. That one's complete. And then um, this one I actually bought for my collection. Got home, realized I already had it, which is better because um, it's a game that's worth a little bit, so um, I'll be able to make more than I thought, and that's Digimon World 4 for the Xbox. That's complete. Um, this one was $2, and it goes for like 10 to 15 and like I said, I thought that I was getting this for my collection, but came home and realized that I already had it. So that was cool. worked in my favor. Uh, next up, picked up a Game Boy Advance game, Super Mar uh, Mario Kart Super Circuit. This was four dollars. And then from that same uh, from that same pawn shop, let me try and get this little sticker off here really quick. Um, this I paid full price for. Um, which I don't really mind, and that's a yellow Game Boy Color, has a battery cover, 
and this was uh, twelve ninety nine, I believe. Um, usually, I can sell Game Boy Colors on eBay for about eighteen. Um, a yellow one sh will probably go for a little bit more because they're harder to find. But it does have the battery cover. It's in decent shape. It works. So. I decided to pick it up because I was getting a, such a good deal on the other stuff that I bought from there. Um, it's worth it to pay 13 bucks, and I can probably sell it for 20 And uh, the last game that I got from that pawn shop to resell, um, there's kind of a story that goes with this one. Um, basically, when I was, I was the, the pawn shop that I got the Game Boy from and, and basically most of those good games, um, I, it's the farthest one from my house. So, I was riding my bike, I left at 9 o'clock this morning, now it's 3 o'clock, so I got home like an hour ago, and I rode my bike, I rode so far, it's so hot outside, it's like 85 degrees out, um, it's humid, it's hot, I rode my bike miles and miles, it's a mile just to my school, which is the first pawn shop I went to, then I went two miles down, and then half a mile over to a pawn shop and then probably five more miles um, down that road and stopped at all the pawn shops on the way and then six or seven miles back so I rode a lot today and right before I got to the last pawn shop the farthest one from my house my, t my back tire on my bicycle exploded and so I rode on it I rode on a flat tire like four more blocks to the pawn shop and I was like, okay, I'm just going to throw this bike in the dumpster and I'll just buy another one from the pawn shop. And I got there and all the bikes are outside. So before I even went in, I looked at all the bikes and the only ones that were, that didn't have flat tires that were actually decent were like 80 bucks and over. And there's no way I'm going to spend that much on a used bike at a pawn shop because the first one I got for 35. Um, so I was like, okay, well, I'll just go inside and see what else they have and you know, whatever. So I got all the games and everything, and the lady was so cool. Um, she actually took me into the back where pe where they keep all the stuff that people have pawned, and she showed me they had one bike in the back that they hadn't put out, and it was marked at 60 bucks. She gave it to me for 45 with no tax or anything, and it's a great bike. I rode it home. It's way better than my other one, so I'm really happy with that. And while I was back there, she actually let me look through all the games that hadn't been put out yet. So... That's where I got the Mario Sunshine, Digimon World 4, Taito Legends, or not Taito Legends, um, Halo, Halo 2, um, and this next game I'm about, I'm about to show you. So I was really happy that she let me do that. She was really cool. She was really nice. Um, and I she gave me some great deals on the stuff. So the last game, I got this for $1. It's a disc only, but it's a copy of Conquer Live and Reloaded. If you saw my last video, I picked one up for my collection. Um, so I was very happy to find another one. Um, the cheapest that I saw them going for on eBay is like 25 bucks plus $4 shipping, so about 30 bucks. But that was for a complete copy. They didn't have any disc only ones. But I'm expecting to maybe sell this for around 24 or 25 bucks. And so that's pretty good when, when you pay a dollar for a game and you can sell it for 25. So that was really cool. Um, it was really awesome of her to let me go into the back and look at all the games that nobody else has picked through yet. Um, so, very awesome stuff. And then the last three games that I got to sell came from a different pawn shop. Um, <coughs> and they're, they're all Nintendo 64 games. Um, and only only two pawn shops that I... Three pawn shops that I went to had Nintendo 64 games. One of them, they were all sports. And one of them, they were all, like, eBay prices. But these ones were actually decently priced. So first I got Turok 3, uh, Shadow of Oblivion. I, I think this one is the most expensive out of all the Nintendo 64 Turoks, but I got it for $2.99. No tax. Um, I'm not sure really what it's worth. I'm imagining it's around $10. Bucks. Um, and then I got 007 Goldeneye. I got this for $5 with no tax, so 2 bucks off. And then the last one is Donkey Kong 64. And I got this one for five dollars as well. So, so those are all the games that I got to to sell. 
Um, these are going on eBay February 1st, so I doubt you guys are going to get this video by then, but, you know, whenever you see it, just check out my eBay. I will have some stuff up because I am going to be selling a lot this month. Um, my eBay username is Rare Nintendo 64. No spaces, nothing special, just Rare Nintendo 64. So check that out. Um, I can only list 100 items a month, so I might actually be selling something, some stuff on uh, Cassidy's eBay. Um, I'm not sure what his name is, but in my next video, if, if I'm selling stuff on there by then, I'll let you guys know. So this next stack of games are ones that I got from my collection, and I got some pretty good stuff in here, um, some really cool stuff. Um, so first off, I picked up one DVD. This was one dollar, and that's The Rocker. Um, this is the Born to Rock edition. It's got a digital copy plus the uh, DVD, and it comes with a slip cover. It's like both discs are mint. It's like brand new, but for a dollar, it's a pretty good movie. That was from the uh, same pawn shop where I got Conquer. And then um, I got a mix of stuff. Uh, they're all they're all. PS2, Xbox, and GameCube games, and these all came from different pawn shops, so I'll try and uh, let you know what I paid. Uh, so first up, we have Worms, Worms 3D for the Xbox. Complete. This one was a dollar. Then next up we have Fable, The Lost Chapters. This one's complete, and you're probably wondering why I got a Platinum Hits game for my collection. Well, the reason is, Fable The Lost Chapters was only released as a Platinum Hits game. So, I have the first Fable, which they released as an original, um, and a Platinum Hits, but this one, The Lost Chapters, it's like a little bonus, they only did it as Platinum Hits, which is kind of dumb, it's going to look crappy on my shelf, but if I want to have the game, I can only have it Platinum Hits. So, this was also $1. Next is Dungeons & Dragons Heroes. Complete. This one, once again, was one dollar. Then we have Super Bubble Pop. Complete. Once again, one dollar. Then we have Serious Sam 2. You can see right there, it was one dollar. This one is missing the manual. <clears throat> I believe all the rest are complete, though. Um, so those are all the... I got all of those from from the same pawn shop where I got Conquer. Um, all of them besides the Serious Sam, I picked out from the back, so I was pretty happy to uh, be getting back there and picking through games no one else has picked through yet, so that was really awesome. Next up, we have SNK vs. Capcom, SVC Chaos. Complete. It was marked at $7.99 but I got it for $4. Then next, um, I'm going to need to replace this case. And I don't think I have an original Xbox case right now to replace it with, but it's Raises Hell. And that's complete. And it was marked at... If you can see that, it was marked at $3.99, but I got it for $2. Next we have GoldenEye Rogue Agent for the GameCube. Complete. This was one dollar, or two dollars, sorry. Two bucks for that one. Next we have Darkened Sky for the GameCube. Complete. This was marked at seven, and I got it for three fifty. Next we have Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. This one is missing the instruction manual. Um, there was no price tag on this one, so I took it up and he said $2.99. So good deal on that one. Um, next is Rampage Total Destruction. Uh, this came from Godfather Pawn. This is the only thing I bought from them besides I bought the N64 games from them and this. And it was $2.99. Sounds complete. I don't know if I showed you. Um, and next up, we have a copy of Taito Legends. Yep, I got two copies of this from the same pawn shop. Um, I got it for $4. I 
I got both of them for four dollars each. So this one is for my collection. The other one I'm selling. It's complete, obviously. And then we have Metal Gear Solid 2. Now this one I might be selling. I'm not sure. Um, I don't have this one. I have t I have a uh, Sons of Liberty, which this one is not. This one is actually part of a bundle, like a set of different of all the different Metal Gear Solid games on the uh, PS2. And I didn't know that. I didn't realize that till I brought it home. Um, so I don't know if this is actually one that I should keep because technically this isn't how it originally came so I'm kinda iffy on this one I might sell this I might not I'm not sure yet that one was a uh, dollar and then I went to GameStop um, the GameStop by my house doesn't sell PS2 or GameCube games anymore but I have been going to their dumpster and getting cool stuff so that's cool but the GameStop that I went to is um, pretty far it's right by that pawn shop that's the farthest from my house but I picked up uh, they still have GameCube and PS2 games and they had some really cool GameCube stuff they had like Zelda collector's edition they had uh, Paper Mario uh, Super Smash Brothers like they had tons of stuff so I picked up uh, three GameCube games the first one is Metabots Infinity and that one was you can see $1.79 that's complete And then I picked up Batten Kados Origins. Um, I love the other Batten Kados game. I've actually never played this one, but I might soon. That's complete, and it was six twenty nine. And the last one, um, I'm pretty sure I got a good deal on this one um, because I know that the standard version of the game can sell for about 20 to 25 but if you have this one it goes for about 25 to 35 on eBay at least and that's Mario Kart Double Dash and it comes with the bonus disc so that's complete and I got this for 18 so I mean it's not like the best deal but I didn't have the game and this is the one that comes with the bonus disc so I basically got it for about ten dollars cheaper than I'd be able to get it for online somewhere. Um, people are trying to sell the bonus disc alone for twenty bucks, which I think is ridiculous. But um, I can understand paying, you know, five dollars extra to get the bonus disc if you're just going to get the game anyway. If you're a collector, so yeah, eighteen bucks usually goes for twenty-five to thirty. Pretty good deal in my eyes. Um, so yeah, those are uh, my pickups uh, for today. Um, I, I don't think I'll be getting too much stuff, um, soon. I am waiting on a couple packages in the mail. Uh, they might even be there right now. I haven't checked the mail today yet. But, um, yeah, that's it. Um, I have, I have a lot of stuff to sell. Um, starting in February, um, I'll be putting a lot of stuff on eBay. And I have two months of rent to pay, um, two months of electricity, one month of internet, two months of phone, cell phone, and a security deposit to pay um, before my next uh, living expense check comes. So that's, prob that's the reason I'm probably not going to be buying too much. And um, the only reason I bought this stuff today is because I bought a lot of stuff to resell, which is good. And the stuff that I bought for my collection will be paid for by the stuff I bought to sell. So basically like the Game Boy, the N64 games, all these, all the PS2, Xbox, GameCube games that I have to resell, will, it'll basically bring me more money than I spent on everything, which is good. So um, hopefully I'll have another pickup video within the next week or so. Um, I know I just uploaded a bunch, so... Hopefully that'll hold you guys over. So that's it for now, and uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Hey everybody. Um, normally I wouldn't add something onto the end of a video like this, but 
right after I filmed that first part, I went to check the mail, and two packages were in there, and I got the stuff that I was waiting for, so I decided to just add it in. Um, the PlayStation sign is on behind me is on, so it's a little glary, but this is kind of just a quick thing that I'm going to add in here. So, I bought a bundle of uh, complete Super Nintendo games off of eBay, and I they were they started the bidding at you know whatever, and I contacted them and offered them a flat rate if they would end it, um, if they would end it soon for me, and they did. So, I paid 50 bucks um, for these games. So first up, and they're not in the best condition, but you'll see why at the the last two games you'll see why I paid that much. First we have Stunt Race FX. And I haven't opened uh, these yet, except for one of them. There's a cartridge. No manual for this one. Um, I know a couple of them are missing the manuals. Next is Top Gear. Got the manual for this one. Next is Super Tennis. I think this is my third complete copy of this game now. Complete. Battleship, the classic naval board combat game. Sorry, not board game. That one's complete. And now these last two, um, you'll know why I paid that much. And I actually got a pretty good deal considering what these games are. Um, like I said, they're not in the best of shape, but, you know, one of them is super hard to find. Um, you're not going to find it on eBay for the price I paid for the whole bundle. But the first one is Act Razor. You can see it's, it's a little crushed and, you know, it's really worn and everything. And this just fell off on the little flaps. Um, and there's no manual for this one. There's a cartridge. Now, this last game is really the game um, that made me buy the whole bundle. I first offered uh, 40, and they said I'd feel more comfortable at 50, and I said 45, and they said um, they said I'd like to get 50, and so you know. Five bucks extra, not bad considering the deal I got. And this game is, it's a common game, but to get it complete is really hard, it's really expensive. And this is a player's choice version, which I don't really mind because I don't really care about that when it comes to uh, knit cartridge based games. But this is one that I didn't have, and I'm really happy to have it, it was a great price, and that is Super Mario World, complete in box. It is a little bit crushed, if you can see the corner right here, or the side. But, it does come complete. The manual is a little beat up. I might have an extra manual in my little, my little box of manuals and inserts, but I'm not sure. The manual is really easy to get, just as it's almost as easy to find as the cartridge. Um, but, yeah, pretty happy um, to, have, to have one of these finally. Um, the cheapest, the cheapest buy it now for a complete copy of this on eBay. Um, when I when I was looking and I found this, um, the cheapest buy it now for it was like seventy nine dollars plus shipping. So for fifty bucks, I got all these games. Um, I think the only double is Super Tennis, maybe Battleship. I'm not quite sure. No, I didn't have Battleship, so. Super Tennis looks like it's the only uh, the only double, so I'm really happy uh, with the purchase. Um, so yeah, that's awesome. And then um, I've got one more package to show you. All right, so this package here um, I bought uh, from a YouTuber, and his name is BPL86, and I'm going to leave a link um, to his channel in the description. So be sure to check him out. He has great pickups, but um. He's kind of thinning out his collection, and um, I think he said he's only going to be trying to go for more rare games. So he was kind of uh, selling stuff off, and um, I purchased um, some uh, PS1 games from him, and um, he gave me a good deal on them. So I was more than happy to uh, pay what 
he was asking. So I'll show you what I got here. Okay, the first one is Spyro, Year of the Dragon. Next we have Crash Bandicoot 3, Warped. We have Crash Bandicoot 2, Cortex Strikes Back. Then we have Crash Bandicoot, first one. Then we have The Unholy War. I had never heard of this game, and I looked it up on eBay, and it's not going. It's not. It's not expensive at all. But um, I thought it'd be a cool one to add to my collection because, you know, I'm not really collecting for the PS1. Um, I'm. It's like. Like, I would say that I am more collecting for the Xbox 360 than the PS1, and that is. Like, I don't know. I'm not even really collecting for the Xbox 360. I don't even play my 360 anymore. But, um, yeah, The Unholy War, it's black a little bit complete. Um, it's got a cool name. So, I figured why not. So I got that. And then the last one, um, this is actually a pretty expensive game. Um, and that is Digimon World 3. Uh, it's missing the manual, but it does have the back cover. Um... Crash Bandicoot 2 is also missing the manual, but other than that, they're all complete. Um, they're all in decent shape from uh, what I've seen so far. Um, so yeah, those are those are the uh, two packages that I got. So be sure to check out his channel. Um, like I said, link in the description. And yeah, that's it. So um, once again, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.